after this massive disappearance, better known as the rapture, lots of things are going to happen after the rapture of the church. I'd like to read this to you. This is in Revelation chapter 6. And I saw when the Lamb broke one of the seven seals, and I heard one of the four living creatures sing as with a loud a loud voice. Uh, saying with the voice of thunder, Come. And I looked, and behold, a white horse, and he who sat on it had a bull, and a crown was given to him. And he went out conquering and to conquer. This represents the Antichrist coming on the world scene. The, po the political leader. The one world dictator. And then... And when he broke the second seal, I heard the second living creature sing, Come, and another, a red horse, went out, and to him who sat on it was granted to take peace from the earth, and that man should slay one another, and a great sword was given to him. It's going to break peace. The peace, the peace treaty will be broken. Come to take peace from the earth. And when he had broken the third seal, I heard the third living creature saying, Come. And I looked, and behold, a black horse, and he who sat on it had a pair of scales in his hand. And I heard, as it were, a voice in the center of the four living creatures saying, <clears throat> A quarter of wheat for a dairy, like a penny, and three quarters of barley for quarters of wheat for a penny okay three quarters of wheat for a penny a quarter of saying increasement four living creatures saying a quarter of wheat for a and do not harm the oil and the wine there's going to come a time it's going to get so bad there's going to be an economic, a worldwide financial collapse that the amount of money that you earn at work, that's how much it's going to cost you just to buy a loaf of bread. The day's wages that you work at work, whatever they pay you for a whole day, that's how much it's going to cost you to buy a loaf of bread. That's how bad the economy is going to get. And then it goes on. And I looked, and behold, as an ashen horse, and he who sat on it had the name Death and Hades, was falling with him. And authority was given to them over a fourth of the earth to kill, with sword, and with famine, and with pestilence, and by the wild beasts of the earth. There's going to come famine, pestilence, wild animals are going to attack people. And when he broke the fifth seal, I saw underneath the altar the souls of those who had been slain because of the word of God and because of the testimony which they had, which they had menacing. And they cried out with the loud voice saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, wait thou refrain from judging and avenging our blood on those who dwell on the earth. And there was given to each to each of them a white robe, and they were told that they should rest for a little while longer until the number of their follow servants and their brethren who were to be killed even as they had been should be complete also and I looked when he broke the sixth seal and there was great earthquakes and the sun became black as sackcloth made of hair and the whole moon became like blood the whole moon became like blood 
and the stars of the sky fell to the earth as a fig tree cuts its uprooting and shaken by a great wind. And the sky was spilled apart like a squirrel when it is rolled up, and every mountain and island were moved out of their place. And the kings of the earth, and the great man, and the commanders, and the rich, and the strong, and every slave and free man, hid themselves in the caves and among the rocks of the mountains. And they said to the mountains and to the rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the presence of him who sits on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of their wrath has come, and who is able to stand? This is how bad it's going to get, ladies and gentlemen. The Bible actually says that these things are going to happen. This is God's revelation. There's coming judgment on this earth, like we just read. The sun's going to be dark, right in the middle of day. In the middle of the afternoon, it will get dark. The moon will turn, the whole moon, it said. You see that? It said the whole moon. The moon will turn as red as blood. <clears throat> There's going to be great earthquakes. The waters will turn into blood. Oceans, rivers, lakes will turn to blood. Will turn into blood. And fire, a fourth of the grass was burned. And the trees, you name it. Judgment is coming to this earth. The wrath of God is going to fall on this earth like never before. Just like what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 24, verse 21. Let me read it to you. Matthew chapter 24, verse 21. For then there will be great tribulation, such as has not occurred since the beginning of the world until now, nor ever shall, nor ever shall, nor ever shall be. You see? And in Daniel chapter 12, for then there will be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation. In Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 7, Alice, for that day is great, for there is none like it. And I can go on. It says, who is able to stand? God is going to shake this earth up. You know? God's judgment is going to fall. The judgment of God is coming. I'm telling you guys, God's wrath is coming to fall on this earth. It will be a time the world has never seen. So many things are going to happen. People are going to be so afraid that their heart's just going to stop beating. They're just going to drop dead. That's how bad it's going to get. That's how much fear is going to paralyze the people. But this is all going to happen after the rapture of the church. God's wrath is going to fall upon the wicked, upon this world. Okay? So whoever's listening to this right now, if you feel God dealing with your heart to get right with him, may you get right. Because in this book, God means exactly what he says. Everything throughout the book of Revelation, God means exactly what he says, and it will happen exactly as God stated. Every word in here is true and will come to pass to exact detail right on target. So if you feel God dealing with your heart to get right with him, may you get right. Because if you feel God dealing with your heart to get right with him right now, you feel his peace, that's God getting your attention. You feel a tugging taking place. That's God. If you feel all that and you reject him, you may wake up one morning and find out that the rapture has taken place. And if you find yourself going through the tribulation, it will not be God's fault. It will be your fault. Says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So that everyone who believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. That's John 3.16. Romans chapter 6 verse 23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. This is what's about to happen. The rapture is going to be a sudden moment. 
billions of people are going to vanish off of the face of the earth. So imagine at this time when millions vanish throughout the whole world, billions of people, Christian pilots that are flying or landing at the time of the rapture, no one's under the control of the plane anymore. It's going to crash. No one under the control of it. It's going to crash with all those passengers on board. People that are driving 18-wheelers on the highway that are Christians at the time of the rapture. Imagine that. Boom. No one under control of the, of the truck anymore. There's going to be worldwide chaos engulfed planet Earth at this time. People that discover family members missing, their babies missing, babies vanish out of mother's arms. The world is going to go insane. People will lose their minds. They're going to come up with all kinds of things and try to say, this is probably a nuclear radiation that went off, or it's a UFO. The UFOs are invading planet Earth. You may wake up one morning and turn on the television. The breaking news. Billions of people are missing throughout the world. Billions of people have just vanished off of the face of the Earth. We don't know what this is. We don't know if this is a UFO invasion, a UFO invasion attacking planet Earth. Stay tuned. And you stay tuned. We just got some more news. We actually have some footage of surveillance footage. Of, they have footage of someone vanishing. They, sh they show the footage. They show the surveillance. You see the person, and all of a sudden, they show the, pe they show the person vanish. His clothes fall and everything. He's gone. He vanished. And they realize that this has not just happened here. This has happened around the world at the same time. Throughout the world. Montreal, Boston, New York, Australia. The whole world. There's people missing. Emergency alert. All flights have been cancelled. And they're going to install martial law at this time. The world's not going to imagine that people are going to go and commit suicide. They're going to commit suicide. And this is when the leader comes on the scene, the Antichrist. He's going to have a way to explain this away. He's going to explain this away. They're going to come up with something, but they will not say the truth. That Jesus Christ has come to take his children home to be with their Heavenly Father. Because the truth is, it's the rapture of the church that has taken place. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then for we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And from that time on shall we ever be with the Lord. This is what Jesus said would happen. That's why he said to always be ready and to always be watching. Because for the Son of Man will come when you least expect it. You also be ready for you do not know which hour your Lord is coming. This is what has happened. And this is going to happen exactly as Jesus said. Jesus will come back as he promised. He said in John chapter 14, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I wouldn't have told you so. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, so that where I am, there you also may be. So do not believe the lie that they will try to say, oh, this is a UFO abduction, UFOs came, or a radiation bomb went off and evaporated the people, or maybe this is some kind of a terrorist weapon. They just came up with new weapons that could evaporate people. We need to find out what's going on, ladies and gentlemen. They're going to they're gonna make it all sound logical. There's going to be views. There's going to be shows on television trying to figure out what happened to all these people. And notice, these people were Christians. They were believers in Jesus Christ. They followed the word of God. And this is all about to happen, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to say, be ready to meet the Lord, brothers and sisters. Closing time is upon us. Jesus Christ is coming. And I want to say this. This was back in Brussels. This guy said, we do not want another committee. We have too many already. What we want is a man of significant stature who is able to hold the allegiance of all people to pull us out of this economic morass in which we are sinking and send us such a man and be he God or the devil, we will receive him. So they're calling for one individual. There's so many signs. Jesus Christ is coming. Jesus is coming. So look up. 
Pack up, pray up, we're going up. Our redemption is drawing nigh. Is all I got to say, and God bless you all.